What is going on guys, my name is Baron or Developer B, and welcome back to episode 11 of the Bucket Coding Tutorial Series. And in this episode today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make an auto announcer. And pretty much what this plugin is going to do is it is going to announce a particular message every certain amount of time that the player decides to set. So. Let's go ahead and get right into this. We're going to learn a few new concepts today. We're going to learn the sync repeating task, and we are also going to learn some other things. So let's go ahead and get right into this, and I'm going to show you guys how to make this scheduler is what it's called. So let's go ahead and say bucket.getscheduler right in the on enable dot schedule a sync repeating task. And pretty much what we have is we're going to store everything in a config which is why I have the config set up and I have the set announcement thingy right there. We're going to say new runnable and actually we can change this to a Lambda in the new version of Java. So just go like that and that will be a Lambda. And there we go. And then we can say for get config dot get int a second. And what this is actually doing is it is setting up the particular time that the message is going to repeat at. So it's going to repeat at a certain amount of seconds, every certain amount of seconds. So we're going to specify that in here. We're actually going to times this by 20 because in Minecraft, one second equals 20 ticks and minecraft goes by ticks so we are going to times the amount of seconds by 20 and then that will give us the amount of ticks that we need so that is really cool and we're just going to specify that as seconds inside of the config basic get in seconds now let's go ahead and shout out this message so we're going to go ahead and say bucket dot broadcast and get config dot get string uh announcement announcement and there we go and actually what we are going to do is chat color dot translate alternate color codes this and then this because we are going to be specifying some color codes if we want it to be colored so yeah let's go ahead and remove this i think there was an error What's the error here? Uh, broadcast string and string cannot be applied. Okay, bucket dot broadcast message. That's what I meant. My B broadcast message. There we go. So that is all we're going to do. We're specifying the string right there, and it's going to loop for this amount of time just like that. Really basic and really easy, as you guys can see. It's a little bit more advanced, and it's really useful for things like countdowns and other things. That's what you would use this for, like countdowns. Let's go ahead and make this announcement command. So this is gonna be a little bit more complicated. This is actually gonna be more complicated than that. So we're gonna say equals zero, and we are going to say sender.sendMessage. And notice that I didn't specify a player message because like a player because the sender is going to be able to set this stuff because it doesn't matter whether the player or the sender is setting it so yeah let's go ahead and send the sender a message and go ahead and say please specify oops <laughs> please specify a time and announcement because we can't have zero arguments obviously we have to have more than one else if args.length equals one and we are going to say sender dot send message chat color dot red please specify an announcement there we go now we can say else because we are going to have a lot of stuff and let's go ahead and get into this so we're going to say int seconds right so we're going to make that we're going to set it to zero actually let's leave that like that and we're going to do a try and catch and if you guys don't know what a try and catch is it's pretty much there's this is going to be a number number format exception format exception e and what this try and catch is is we're going to try to run a line of code and if it doesn't work then it's going to catch it with this exception and we're not going to we're not going to submit this to the console so there's not going to be an error in the console when it goes through this 
because we are catching it with this number format exception. And the reason why we're doing this number format exception, I will show you right now. We're going to say second, second equals integer dot parse int args zero. And essentially what this does, I don't know why that's glitching. I accidentally hit that. What exactly this is doing is it's setting the amount of seconds to the first argument in the command. So it's going to look like this. So if we have our command right here, it's going to say slash set announcement to um, 30 seconds every 30 seconds and hello. So this right here is the first argument and that's what we're using right here. But this is a string. This is seen as a string because it's a chat message and we have to change the string into an integer, which is what we're doing right here. But if this, like if the player said word or something, that's not a number. So it's going to catch it with this number format exception and not give an error or else it would give an error. So that is pretty much the simplest way to explain that. A little bit tricky to get it first, but it really makes sense if you think about it logically. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we have our second specified and now we can go ahead and do this string builder exactly like we did for our MOTD plugin x equals new string builder. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and set for um, int i equals one because we have already specified one argument, unlike zero, because it was just a message in MOTD, but this is different because this already has an argument. So we're gonna say i plus plus, and then we're gonna say x dot append args i args i plus a space. And now we are going to set this stuff up now. So let's go ahead and say git config dot set, and we're gonna set announcement, or what did we call it? Did we call it announcement? Yes, announcement to this x dot to string dot trim and we are going to say get config dot set um, seconds to seconds and there we go and now we just go and save the config so there we go that is actually it for now so let's go ahead and run this and see if it works in our server so what we are going to do is go up here build artifacts and where is this at? Auto announcer. Build that. Let's get into the game. There we go. Boom, boom. And now let's go ahead and go in here. Wait for it to load up. Reload. And there is an error. So this is giving an error. I know why. Let's go back in here. This is giving us an error because we aren't handling this and this config is nothing in it. So it's pretty much saying this so we're gonna say if git config dot git string announcement oops string announcement announcement e isn't equal to null then we're gonna do this so there we go that is going to work and everything is good now so go ahead and build that again oops I don't know why I click that go ahead and build that again Sometimes you're gonna have errors like this guys and you just have to you just have to fix them. That was a dumb mistake on my part but Let's go ahead and reload sometimes you're gonna have a lot of dumb mistakes. I'm just letting you know You're gonna have some dumb mistakes, but there we go. It is good now So now we can go ahead and say slash help auto announcer And we can say set announcement and actually if we go ahead and look in the plugin out YML we have some aliases, so announce and set announce. So I'm just gonna use announce because that is easier to say than set announce. So I just did some aliases because it's easier, slash announce. And we're gonna set this to, let's say every 10 seconds. And we can use color codes too, so the and symbol. We're gonna say and be hello, uh, follow me on, and then and a Twitter and then and B again. So like that. And there we go, we set the announce symbol, the announce message. I forgot to send the player a message, so sorry about that. Let's reload. And as you can see, every 10 seconds, 
it is going to say this hello follow me on Twitter so it's going to keep repeating that see every 10 seconds so there we go guys thank you guys for watching that was a basic tutorial on auto announcing and as you can see it is working really good and if we go into plugins and auto announce config as you can see we have this in seconds and every time it is going to do that in seconds so it is timesing that by 20 and we are having this announcement so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in episode 12.